All right, YouTube. So I'm finally doing a somewhat of an unboxing of my new uh, Diana LP8 Magnum. I already made a small little shorty video with the uh, two shots I took of the crony. But check out this wallet I found. My late wife's when she was a young girl. Made by the Indians up in Michigan. Little magic mushrooms and stuff. Oh, that trip. It's all made out of leather and dyed. It has uh, a little mirror inside. A little spot. I was going to put pellets in there, but kind of neat, man. This thing is ancient. Let's see how old is this thing. It's got to be, gosh, 50 years old at least. Yeah, about 50. Pretty cool. But here's the monster pistol. Look at this thing. It's huge. 21 inches. <laughs> and it comes with the talking handle on the front. Makes it even longer. Let's see, what is it with it off? Now, overall length is only 17.7 inches. So it's 17.7 right here. Not too bad. But I'm going to try it out with the iron sights first. It has a nice true glow sights on there. Uh, green in the rear and the red in the front. Looks pretty cool. They're nice. First uh, pistol with uh, true glow fiber optic sights. So I'll, I'll get the uh, iron uh, sighted in. And then I'll go to... Uh, the three MOA red dot by Hawk. I'll put that on there eventually for my eyesight when I'm shooting from farther away. But I'll zero it in at uh, seven yards, 21 feet roughly, 24 feet, whatever it is. And then I go from there. I think I uh, end of my hallway is like 25 feet, 30 feet. So we'll zero it in. Check it out. It's a brake barrel. A cocking effort on this thing is only, you can do it without the, uh, the aid but i recommend uh using the uh caulking handle only because i don't want you don't want to damage that front sight and this way you stay away from it you're going to load your pellet 177 caliber pellet right in there close it back up it does have a, a safety that is away from the trigger it's ambidextrous down is for fire cover up the red you're on safe and there it is on the other side. Also with the, there's a D number with the 2022. I'm assuming that might be a serial number. I, yes, that's the serial number. Made in Germany. And the barrel has its own serial number. The barrel is, it's not pinned. It does have two small Allen screws that you can loosen up and take off that uh, moderator. Or you can put on a, um, your own silencer if you want. But it's a beautiful pistol. The trigger on this thing, it's rated at 3.3 pounds. It's not too bad. You know, it's a little bit, take up's a little long, but it, it when it breaks, it breaks at the end. It's smooth. This pistol is smooth. You can tell it's very well made. Now, there was a carbine version of this uh, pistol at one time, which had the had a better, like a Donnie FL uh, moderator silencer with, uh, oops, with the sight delete. And it had a buttstock that came, you, you mounted to the screws back here on your, by your safety, and it came off the back. So that's pretty cool. Now I can make a buttstock for it. It wouldn't be that hard because it will fit on this rail. Make the, make the grips starting with the grips and then just extend it out and there's the artemis uh the pp 750s and those versions are kind of like this style uh brake barrel piston design this is not a pcp it's not co2 so you power it up it's ready to go no, there's no extra cost nothing so the, the pistol is a little pricey it's in that 300 dollars range now, a lot of the ones that, are, uh, that look like it, the Hot Sons and the other ones are like a third of the price, but this one's made in Germany, so pretty much getting what you pay for this guy. So that's it. That's about as much as I know about it. I have not fired it that much, so that'll be next. 
I do have my wife's, uh, late wife's uh, old phone out, the iPhone S, which is, I think, the 6 or whatever. There's no service on it, but I think I can use the camera and send over the uh, the shots on target while I'm while I have the camera, my regular phone over there with me while I'm shooting from, uh, so you can see the pistol for performing uh, from uh, where I'm shooting at. So I'll be shooting it from arrest and freehand. So we'll go from there.